Elton Jones. Northam getting there in ones and twos. Johnston stretches the legs around Johnston. Berryman's there. Berryman stretches and scores. First try of the afternoon, and Norm Berryman gets it for Northland. We see here on the Air New Zealand replay, Warren Johnson doing something he doesn't do often. He put the foot down and he went for the gap, and he's off. Norman Berryman comes on the inside, hits the ball, almost caught by Wheelie there. Down he goes, but over on his back, stretches out, great try. Tremendous run here by Warren Johnson. Instinctively, he knew that Norm Berryman would come in field. And, oh, that's clever play by Berryman. It's as close to a slam dunk as you would see on the rugby field. 21 tries for the season. When he got to 14, he broke the record. So it really has been a fantastic season for Norm Berryman. He's playing an advantage here. It's gone Northland's way. Now there's the chip into the corner. Here comes Berryman. And referees his try. Well, I thought the ball had beaten the ball. But the touch judge over the far side there. Called the referee in and said, there's a try. Great kick from David Holwell. It was a great kick by Holwell. Fantastic vision here. Saw that. There was space in behind the Manawatu backs who have been flat all game. Had their open side bring it up all game. And watch Berryman here use his shoulder. Legal, shoulder to shoulder. And that's a fair try. Oh, oh, and he knows it. You're never going to win shoulder to shoulder against Berryman, are you? Now, there's no way that the referee would have been able to see that ball being forced like that. That's a great piece of work between the touch judge and the referee to award that try. Nicely picked up by Howell. Berryman is in. Try number eight for Northland. Well, he may have to score another couple to appease his coach. But that's five more for his team. Takes it into the 50s. And in the end, Bernie again resulted great pressure. Yes, it was great pressure. They uh, kept the momentum forward. Good pick up here from Holwell, but the angle from uh, Nor Storm and Norman coming back slightly from the mispass got him into the hole. A big, strong man uh, manages to push the, uh, the defence off. Good try. Converted by Holwell. 54 points to 10. Really, it was a numbers game again, but look at the strength of Norman Berryman. Tackles far too high, and uh, he certainly enjoyed that one. Campbell is out there as well now, as Moore brings it out. Away for Berryman, getting in close this time. Gets away! Norman Berryman! Two couple the score underneath the six what an asset to the Northland team he got it nice and close here Ranby hasn't missed too many tackles tonight Bull Allen can't make the tackle Kaiwai and Cullen shoved off as well and Norm Berryman a little signal to say that's another one for big Norm Transfer to Paiwai, the intercept, and Berryman will get on the scoreboard. Bishop's chasing him, but he's gone. He read it like a book. And try number three in the first 16 minutes to the home side.
indeed he's on the score sheet and you can just see the despair all over Stephen Bishop's face there he just had no chance and how will Mark Allen feel what a tremendous run it's about the only time this year that a bull cry hasn't lit up round the ground as Allen charges forward and he's going to be lying on the bottom and look up and watch Berryman take the pass from Paiwai big long cutout pass and he's away under the stick Stephen Bishop tries but it's a despairing run and then he goes under the dot for another try to Northland. And as you would expect, David Holwell from in front has converted 21 points to three. Now they go. Mertens. Berryman gets a chance anyway. He should have got it 10 seconds earlier, but he's got it now. Well, I wonder whether Tabai Metzen thought it was one of his props out there with all his headgear on. Got Norm Berryman, but he got his chance second time round, and he's nailed the try for the Crusaders. The pass should have been freed right about now, and it wasn't. Matson's strength allowed him just to charge on through. Good setup, no 50-50 pass, and then Flynn goes round the, the blind side again. The skip pass from Mertens gave Berryman the run in, and he brings it round a wee bit to make the conversion attempt easier for Mertens. Nice way to start the game for Norm Berryman. Prolific try scorer in first class rugby. In fact, it's his 86th first class try. And he stacks them up for Northland. And now he's got one for the Crusaders. Flynn brings it out for Merton, shovels it on immediately. Beautiful top pass to Mayhofer. Berryman gets a chance on the left wing side. Cullen lines him up. And on the 22, makes the tackle. Flynn. Daryl Lilly's on the field. Berryman's got a chance. Berryman has beaten Cullen. And Norm Berryman brings up the third try. He's Terrific finishing. Yes, he's a game breaker. Berryman getting the ball with room to move. His opposite winger, of course, was lost a little bit but have a look at this lily through the center this is how the hole was created tremendous stuff great gap here and he stepped and he stepped once and stepped twice so lily saw the hole he took it sweetly missed thought and threw it straight to barry mitch which gave him the room who it was caught inside great example of fresh legs on here daryl lily running freely and Norm Berryman, one of the best finishers we've seen in this country for many years, with his 88 first-class tries, and the record holder for Northland with 67. He's only 25 years of age. Thanks, Stephen. Yes, another big night for you personally, Norman, and for the Crusaders, and a bonus point to boot. Yeah, well, yeah, we wanted uh, to come up here and perform and uh, definitely get the bonus point, but the win was first on the cards. Interesting because uh, it was a great battle tonight of the counter-attackers uh, with Cullen and Umanga and you've got uh, Berryman on the other side and how, how do you reckon it came out on points wise? Um, well pretty much says on the scoreboard so uh, it's not the best attacking team or, or best defending team it's a team that can play as a team and uh, Canterbury's definitely showed that. You played as a team defensively Norman right throughout the whole 15 very strong defensive performance again tonight. Yeah, we pride ourselves on our defence, obviously, and um, we really back our D to keep them out try, um, try scoring. So um, they, we let in a few soft ones, but that's understandable with the pace of the game. And, um, yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with our performance tonight. You must be uh, very happy with the spirit in the side as well because it wasn't that long ago you guys, well, people are writing you off as being down and out. It's been a marvellous comeback for you. That, those home wins were important, but now winning on the road as well. Yeah, we, um, we got a lot of flack last time we come back from um, Australia, so... Um, Back on the, on the road again, we've got um, one game here, we've had our game tonight and we've got two games in South Africa next week. So um, we really want to show that we can play on the road and when it comes down to it, we can perform. You've got uh, created a big impression, uh, Norm, down playing in the Crusaders. Are you enjoying your rugby down there? Yeah, I really enjoy it down there. Um, everything's in place, your system's in place and um, all we have to worry about is playing footy and get out in there every week and playing footy, so that's good. Got a message for the folks back home there in Northland, mate. They'll be expecting you back at some stage. <laughs> yeah, I won't be long. Um, I actually like to say hello to Rion and his lady and wish them um, um, all the best for their wedding um, tonight. And uh, hopefully they're going to have a good night. All the best, Norm. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much. That was Mark Andrews. Honeyball. To Berryman. This will be a big 
contest now for Andre Joubert inside he goes. Berryman's got pace, so is to Blanche. Berryman tracks him off, and this is a superb drive. Oh, and then Berryman knows where the camera is, and it's right on him. Certainly a setback there, but you could almost read that from our position. The long pass going out here. Soft interception, and but well taken by Norm Berryman. And Norm Berryman doing well here. Reads Andre Joubert. Joubert looking at uh, Stefan de Blanche coming back, thinking that's his banker. But uh, Berryman uh, just swatting um, Stefan de Blanche off. Well, he's had a real South African safari as Norm Berryman with those tries last week. And now the first one of this match. And uh, the Sharks guilty of letting themselves down in a department which they've done outstandingly this season, and that's defence. Any real stoppage. Berryman. The little chop kick from Berryman. The bounce is favourable. Try number two. Beautifully finished by Norm Berryman. Yeah, we made mention earlier the fact that uh, the, uh, can, uh, the, uh, the Crusaders' previous two tries came from uh, intercepts. This one, individual brilliance by this man, Norm Berryman, and well executed, well finished off. Lovely to see. Surridge holds at the back. Flynn bringing in Berryman. Sean Payne really got his work cut out with a big man. He just pushes off tackles like uh, he's swatting flies. But uh, ball taken away from him, and Norman Berryman in possession. And we've seen that on a number of occasions today. The Sharks have been on the attack. We saw two intercepts, and then on a few other occasions, have the Sharks turned over possession? No. Nope. Aaron Flynn has it. James Kerr onto Berryman. Can he influence the finish? Norm Berryman. Support coming there from Lancaster. Yes, we have uh, the Winfield man of the match who's just coming across in picture now, and uh, we'll pass on his Winfield uh, Kruger rant to Norm Berryman, the left wing. Uh, Norm, an outstanding uh, South African journey for you personally, hasn't it been? Uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it over here. Um, the, this makes it easy when the team plays well, with all, like Toddy C, with all the support at home. So, um, yeah, very happy. Well, you came into this match with five tries, you added another two, and uh, they were absolutely crucial in, in the final scheme of things. Yeah, I was just happy to be out there and uh, help the team with a win, and um, we really wanted to get home. A few of the boys getting homesick and shedding a few tears, I think. But, um, yeah, the support's been great, and um, it's good to get home. And you feel that uh, during the course of this competition that uh, home ground advantage has really counted a lot in most teams' favours? Yeah, um, we've really benefited from it. Like we had six home games before we come over here, so um, yeah, we, we really like to get home. And um, we knew it was going to be hard out there, and uh, it was a great tussle. So um, yeah, the wall's all on again. Well, it's going to be a tough one next week. I think you've got to try and get rid of that shiner on the left eye if you can. And uh, we wish you uh, all the best uh, with your game next week against uh, the Coastal Sharks. Yeah, thank you very much. And I'd like to say um, hello to everybody at home, and um, thank you for your support. Thanks a lot. Thanks very much, uh, Norm Berryman. And, of course, uh, great, great support uh, for the Canterbury Crusaders back home. There'll be a lot of people in New Zealand that will be pleased with today's efforts. But the Coastal Sharks ultimately really struggling to get things together today and going down by those 32 points to 20. Now Putt. Vessels kicks again off the side of his boot. Payne against Berryman. There he goes. Norman Berryman. This will be the opening try. He's delighted, and he's not the only one in this stadium today, nodding as he does. Remarkable. Vessels electing to kick, and Berryman saying, thank you very much, it's all mine, catch me if you can. Possession handed over, and Norm Berryman punishes them with his eighth try of the season. Once he was past Joubert, it was all over. Greg Cooper's on the sideline. What a start, Greg. Fantastic start here, Mar uh, Grant, by uh, the Crusaders. The look in their eyes as they came out, they were ready for business. And uh, certainly Berryman there pouncing on the, with the opportunity, showing that he has the speed to run the distance. And a very happy man there finishing off. Two out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well played by Reuben Thorne. Dragged out by Flynn, who's done a great job to get that away. Mertens goes to the air again. Joubert should have this under control. Play on, Play Play on, on. says the referee. Just touch the air. This could be another controversial call. Berryman. Berryman will get there. Well, well, well. Now, what about the mark? The Coastal Sharks can't believe it as Berryman gets his second. Well, what about the mark? Everybody at the ground thought it was a mark except the referee. Joubert certainly did, then he had the call, and there he was decked beautifully, decked the ball on the Canterbury side. Look at this, moving ball to the space. And once Berryman got the ball, nobody was going to stop him that close to line. Hello, goodbye. Guys. Well, this is just the end of it, but the controversial moment came when Andre Joubert appeared to take a mark. Hammett. Driven hard in the tackle, but it's there again for Marshall. Mertens. Major. Berryman under the bar. Norm Berryman. Give us a smile, Norm. What a pleasure to watch. The Crusaders back in touch, almost as though they needed the example from Greg Feek. And talk about an answer. Suralo running very strongly, gave the pass perfectly. This is where the tackle was set up because there was no one actually with him. And the end of the movement. Lovely pass, putting the man in the gap. Major release into Berryman with a clear run to the goal line. So, Greg, how does the Canterbury team feel down there now? Well, they are certainly buoyant at the moment, but a good angle run by Major, wasn't it? He got himself into space, and this man always looks for the action. He found it, and he scored the try. Incredible comeback. Now Marshall speeds it to Mertens. Berryman in a big gap. Doesn't have to send the pass away. And Big Norm gets a second. I think the best adjective to describe Norman Berryman here is nonchalant as he calmly sells a dummy and says, yes, please, let me have the five-pointer. Take a look at the pass from Andrew Mertens and the player finding the gap. Berryman found the gap and then he sold the dummy. Very good try to Norm Berryman. Well, it was a superb pass, wasn't it, from Mertens, the timing of it. And Berryman running onto it with steam ahead. Of course, he had the fullback in the invidious position, Kruger, of not knowing who to take. In that situation, of course, the fullback should always take the ball carrier. Well, here's the ball carrier, and he's back 50 metres now because he's just scored. Take by Marshall. Looking for a catalyst. Will it be Gibson? No, Gibson is held up. Now it's Hammett. McDonald inside and eventually the pass on the outside. It was quickly done. Marshall Perryman is going to stroll in eventually, but one fancies it's too much too late. Build up to their try. Able to get the, the ball away quickly on the outside. McDonald is thrown around in that tackle almost over the line. And the Crusaders get there very quickly. Marshall sees Berryman, who's unmarked on the outside. And the big winger gets in for the first try of the afternoon for the Crusaders. Marshall seeing Berryman outside really just flips it up to him. Stormont Norman Berryman. What a man. What an inspiration. One of the most popular players in New Zealand, Simon. And he stripped down a lot from his weight back uh, four or five years ago. Really found his form in the centre, the Canterbury side, and Gardner. He's in a bit of trouble. There's a gap here for Marshall. A big gap on the side of the ruck. New South Wales dig in. Berryman with a big step. Can they stop him? 
No way. Third try for the Crusaders. Well, Gordon, you gave Berryman a wake-up call about three minutes ago. Said he hadn't seen too much of him tonight. Well, Berryman's back. And he got through a whole wall of New South Wales defence then to score number three for the Canterbury Crusaders. It was simply a numbers game. They had exposed some of the holes and then it took the big man crashing over. Well, a, a big hole appeared on the side of that ruck. Merton saw it. The Waratahs defended desperately, but Storm and Norman with a very neat sidestep here to take Whittaker out of the play. That was classic lead-up play there from Justin Marshall. Andrew Merton's with a narrow escape for his side. They beat the Cats after trailing 31-6. And in the last game, they beat the Sharks 34-29 after trailing by 21-6. Lovely pass. Will this be the clincher? Calabrell. Dowling in with a good tackle. And even the Waratah fans give him some, some applause there. Well, I think there's a lot of Canterbury Crusaders uh, fans here, Gordon. Well worked try here by the Crusaders. Berryman gets into the action at the end, but uh, went through a whole heap of hands to get there. New South Wales, desperate defence again, but eventually ran out of numbers, and Berryman just strolls over. Well, they threatened to do it a couple of times earlier when Soalo got stopped short. But they kept on keeping on. The Crusaders prove once again as they storm into the semi-finals that they can finish the season with style and with power. So Andrew Mertens now. Yes, well, Stuart Pinkerton certainly led by example tonight. Storm, Storm and Norman Berriman doesn't want to leave the field here. He's got an army of supporters over there. He was the two-try hero. Final score, 38-22 to the Canterbury Crusaders. They march into the semi-finals. Gardner gets right amongst the action, but he's lost it. Robbie Johnson, Norm Berryman going for the corner, and Northland are back in front. Turnover ball turned into points by Northland. And the Tani Far celebrates. He's enjoying it, the Tani Far, almost as much as Norm Berryman himself. Turn over again, but you had moved it to the blind, and then Berryman had the injection of pace. Steve Surridge, the only defender in the picture, and uh, Berryman just too much gas for him down that side of the field. This is a nice pass, too, from Robbie Johnson. Well delayed, well delivered. Norm Berryman. He's had a swag of MPC tries. That's his first for the year. What a great try in the final last year. There again for the Crusaders. Berryman! Without a hand laid on him. The red and black flags are flying again as Norm puts the champions in front. Well, it was copybook rugby. Setting it up and moving it wide, running the opposition out. And that's what they did. Look at this long pass. And he ran onto the ball, and the gap was there. 
So in other words, they're lining up at great depth. In fact, Coops, it's really imp impressive to see this Canterbury timing into the back line. Yes, it is, but there appears, Murray, to be a little bit of a misunderstanding in the uh, Highlanders midfield there. On that occasion, they were looking uh, at the man, not looking at the organisation of their defence as uh, Merton's nails the kick in front. But no, Murray, I think they're good running, nice straight-angled running from the likes of Berryman, Caleb Ralph so far. But the Highlanders must start communicating and organising that defence in midfield. Ryan Murray goes in to help him, and they try and roll right on her back. Justin Collins has it, Valpahala lands his way. And so does Yaki Bill Ewan. Norm Berryman gets involved. And really, you've got to take your head off to Glenn Taylor here. We just see him. He goes up. The big thing here, he keeps his feet while all the guys are dropping around and he keeps on his feet and he marshals his troops. They're patient here. They're taking their time. As long as they're going forward, they're okay. And that's what they're doing superbly here. Referee Walsh is telling Waikato, if you drop it, I'll penalise you. And they're just probing and probing. And you can just see from this angle, Waikato don't have the numbers right in the middle. And they're over. Quite convincing try. I think it might have been Norm Berryman in the end, but great try. Bounces back in field for Norm Berryman. Now Hayden Taylor back to Berryman. Sums up the opportunities. Now puts on a bit of pace. Norm Berryman. Someone's got to tackle him. But Jason Spicer got himself offside. They're going to take it quickly. Berryman has it now. And that's clever. That's clever play, Northlands. Norm Berryman is in. Well, it's quick thinking. Quick reaction time. Spotting the opportunity. Hard man to stop Berryman, of course, five metres from the goal line with the ball in hand. He just loves the lustful feeling of scoring a try. Look at that. He scored more tries for Northland than anybody else. Up to over 70 now. And that was a result of very quick thinking. Well, that's it, Grant. It's, it's thinking rugby. And Northland have come here to the capital city and they are playing good thinking rugby. And uh, it was on. Well, Ewan realised it. Berryman finished off. It's impressive stuff. They've scored three tries in the first 40 minutes. So they're certainly targeting the, the four-try bonus point. Ball is there now. Away for Holwell. Tries to duck under the tackle. Not successful. So they turn it quickly again. Now Marlon, chance, Norman Berryman. Absolutely lethal, close to the line. And Norman Berryman gets an early try for Northlands. His 46th in the Cambridge Blue jersey. Yeah, well, defence was bad around the scrum time at the beginning, and then it was a numbers game. Northland had a few guys to spare, but uh, Norman didn't need them. Big enough and strong enough to go over unchallenged. He's all power, Norm Berryman. And in the matches that he had for the Auckland Blues, he played particularly well. There we are, 24 years of age, and threatening to become the highest try scorer in Northland rugby history. I mentioned it was his 46th try for Northland. Dennis Panther holds the record at 51. Leaving it for Moore. Holwell. Berryman snuck across onto the far wing. Here's Berryman. They won't stop him from here. No chance at all. on the outside and slips through and after that it's all over one step inside try time what a great side it is Norm Merriman a full cry he went across from the right wing and they went left he's good out work and lead out work and there is the missed tackle and he's deceptively quick too for a big man Norm Merriman 
That's 47 tries now for Northland. Tries being converted by David Hall. Also 21 to 16. Northland back in front. Controlled out on the right wing side though by Niall Woods. Haven't seen much of him so far. Did an absolutely aimless kick, which could be the end of it here because Berryman has the potential to go all the way. And in fact he will. Another try for Norm Berryman. inside his own half remember Woods is uh, coming across he made the initial mistake and no hope of stopping the big man and he's in for his third try tonight 36 to 16 and we're not even at half time yet and uh, Northland in control of this now it comes for more away for Hull Berryman's looking for four and he'll get it well, he got seven in the match once. He's got four tonight already. When he's hot, he's hot as a knee. He's on fire tonight. This week, thought advantage came from the pass from Moore. Beat to go forward. The Irish didn't control it. There was a double knock on there. Northland managed to retain the ball. The referee let it go. And from there, Hilton Jones breaks. Sets up a good ruck, and when it comes out, it's a numbers game. Although Norman doesn't need numbers. No, once he got the ball in his hands, Humphreys tried to hang on, but he's in dynamic form tonight. Four tries, Norm Berryman. He's up to 49 tries for Northland. Norman Berryman is on. Away it goes wide. Berryman gets in to make a tackle early on with Mayer Hoffman. What a moment for Norm Berryman. Now Berryman, there's no one else out here. So Berryman has to do it himself. But he's he doing it himself. Oh, unbelievable. Berryman. Sensational run by Norm Berryman. 